The closest FBI agents came to arresting Felician Kabuga, the man long accused of funding the genocide in Rwanda, was in the year 2003 in Karen, Nairobi. William Munuhe, a businessman, had agreed to entrap Kabuga for a meeting at his home, but he was found dead hours before. Well, his death was ruled as a suicide, but for 17 years, his family has been on a painful quest to uncover the truth behind his death. Now Kabuka's arrest brings them some sense of closure. NTV's Melita Oletengues caught up with Munuhe's mother and tells us more. News of the arrest of Felician Kabuga in Paris, France, the man long accused of funding the genocide in Rwanda, was music to the ears of Lydia Wangoi. It has been a 17-year wait for justice for the murder of his son William Munuhe, who in 2003 was helping U.S. FBI agents track down the fugitive. He was killed by a hit squad only hours before the suspect could walk into a trap he helped lay at his current home. Police ruled his death as a suicide. Musiwa yule ni beba, ni iko kwa kesasa, kwa bega yake, anabeba, wacha bebe. Ni nasema wacha bebe, asikie ni musito, fia li nifanyia. For her, it is a mixture of pain and peace. The arrest brings back the sting of his son's death that was mired in the fog of mystery and cover-ups. The quest for justice has been a painstaking one for the family. For 17 years, they pursued leads that turned to dead ends. The path to the truth was at times dangerous. Her husband and Munue's late father was himself a police officer but wanted no part in the family's quest. While Kabuga will not stand trial for the murder of her son, she says the arrest helps her heal the indirect wounds he inflicted. The mysterious death of William Munohe remains unresolved 17 years later. His death is a speck of the numerous cases linked to Rwandan fugitive Felician Kabuga. His arrest is a new ray of hope for the family who now wants him to pay for his sins. Milita, Oletenges, NTV, Nyeri County.